Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards who's coming toward you in regards to love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. Also, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus sign. All right. Let's see. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me who's coming towards Gemini in regards to love. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. First card we have in regards to who's coming toward you, the Knight of Swords in reverse. This person has been holding back from communicating with you. They've been wanting to, but they've been holding back, forcing themselves not to. Yeah, it's like this person has been waiting for you to come towards them. But because you're not doing it, um, or you haven't done it, then this is them coming towards you. Because they feel like they have no choice. Tell me more, Spirit, who's coming towards Gemini in regards to love? Temperance. Kind of looks like someone wants to reconcile with you, or heal their relationship with you. Make amends with you. Tell me more, Spirit, who's coming towards Gemini in regards to love? Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I keep getting the energy of someone who, who's been wanting to communicate with you. They've, they've just been holding back. Hmm. You know the Temperance card? You know, I feel like this person was trying to get over you with the temperance card. I feel like this person was trying to accept an ending between the two of you. Temperance can represent acceptance. I feel like that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to accept um, you two breaking, breaking apart. So then why are they coming towards you is my question. Let's ask that. Let's see what they want with you. Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. Um, this can, uh, at the bottom of the deck, this can represent a broken relationship or an unstable relationship, a relationship that's not working out. Two people having too many differences with each other, unable to sustain a relationship an equal give and take relationship with each other. Let's see what this person wants with you. All right, spirit angels and guides, please show me what does this person want with Gemini? And why is this person coming towards Gemini? Let me get two shuffles, please, for that question. One and... Why is that? Why is this person coming towards Gemini? So, oh, geez, okay. Six of Pentacles in reverse showed up again. I shuffled the cards. You saw. You saw how I was shuffling, and here it goes again. So they're coming toward you because the relationship is broken. Because the relationship is. Um, not functioning between the two of you. Again, with the temperance card, it just, it just kind of looks like they want to make amends and heal the relationship and reestablish a connection with you and balance with you. Tell me more about why this person is coming towards Gemini spirit. What do they want with Gemini? 
So we have Chariot in reverse. Yeah, I'm getting that they can't move on. They tried to move on and they're, they're now accepting that they can't move on from you. They tried to accept the ending of this relationship. They weren't successful and now they're trying to accept that they can't move on and that they should probably do something to try and fix their relationship with you. All right, let me get another card spare. Why is this person coming towards Gemini and what do they want with Gemini? Three of Wands, okay. Three of Wands in reverse, interesting. Yeah, so I feel like this, pa this person got tired of waiting for you. Like I said, I do feel like this person was waiting to see if maybe you would do something, if maybe you would take action towards them. But it just kind of looks like this person got tired of waiting or, yeah, they got, they're, they've gotten tired of waiting. They don't want to wait anymore. Hmm. They don't want to wait anymore. They want to take action. Okay. Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Six of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Even though this relationship is broken between the two of you, they're still holding on to you with the Four of Pentacles. Um, and that's why they're returning back. Six of Swords in reverse. Why is this person's energy so bland? I feel like this person's energy is so bland and like flavorless. Almost like passionless also. Okay, I need to clarify here. It's weird, it's, it feels weird. Almost like this person feels defeated or they feel like they lost. I don't know what is it that they lost, but it's like they feel like they lost. They feel defeated. I guess this person just thought that they would never return back to you, is what I'm getting. They thought they would be, they thought they would be able to resist. And it kind of looks like that's not the case. So they feel like they lost. Hmm. Okay, I want to clarify here a little bit. Uh, Spirit, tell me about temperance in regards to who's coming towards Gemini. It could be a Sagittarius. We also have cha um, the chariot, Cancer. We also have Cancer here. <clears throat> clarify temperance. The Hierophants. Oh, okay. This person feels like they learned a lesson. I want to know what, what that is. They feel like they learned a lesson. With the Hierophant and the Temperance card, these two together make me think of a spiritual lesson. A valuable spiritual lesson. And what would that be? What's the lesson, Spirit? What's, that, what's the Hierophant about? What lesson did this person learn? Oh, the King of Swords is the lesson. Uh, this feels like ego. Yeah, this definitely feels like ego. So their lesson is, up, is about ego. Ego doesn't get you anywhere. Ego only causes you to be alone. 
at the end of the day. Ego pushes away the people that you love, the people that you care about. And it, it, it ends you up alone. It causes you to end up alone. Well, interesting lesson. Yep, I, I would say that's, that's a good lesson to learn. Okay. Let's clarify. Um, what am I clarifying here? Six of Pentacles, Chariot in Reverse, the Three of Wands. I'm going to look at the Three of Wands. All right, tell me about the Three of Wands in Reverse, Spirit, please. Tell me about the Three of Wands in Reverse. The Hangman. Yeah, I told you, this is what I was, this is what I told you about this card. Three of Wands in Reverse, they got tired of waiting. Because when the Three of Wands is upright, it, it means that you're waiting for something, but in Reverse, you're, you're tired of waiting. And the hangman as clarification is just confirmation of what I, of what I already said. This person spent a, spent a good time waiting for you. I also feel like this person um, spent a lot of time reflecting and meditating on themselves and on, on their relationship with you and, and the things that happened between the two of you. And I feel like they gained a new perspective, which is, which is what's causing them to return back to you. It's this new perspective that they gained. Huh, I wanna know what that is. And what's, what's that new perspective, Spirit? Tell me about this new perspective that they gained. Connected to the Six of Swords in reverse, please. What's the new perspective? Ooh, Three of Wands again, showing up. Three of Wands is the perspective that they gained. It's raining outside, by the way, if you can hear that. So it just kind of looks like this person, um, they don't want to expand their horizons. It's, it's not necessary. It's, it's almost like it's not necessary for them to expand their, their horizons looking for something that they already have with you. Because the three of wands can represent expanding your horizons and you know searching for opportunities, looking for opportunities, being open to new opportunities. But you know, what's the point of doing that if you already have everything that you want and need right in front of you where you are, you know? I feel like that's that's the perspective that they gained. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the outcome between the two of you. Let's see what's gonna happen between you and this person moving forward. All right, let's see. Here we go, spirit angels and guys, please show me the outcome between Gemini and this person moving forward. What's the outcome going to be between Gemini and this person moving forward? All right, so in the outcome, ooh, here you are, Gemini, Queen of Swords. Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. This could be a man, but this is definitely you. Uh, you're the outcome. You have something to say, apparently. Hmm, looks like you have something to say, Gemini. I don't know what you're saying, though. Let's see, tell me more about the outcome, Spirit. For Gemini and this person moving forward. The Ten of Wands. Oh, I see. Hmm. So you want things to change. Some of you are willing to take this person back, but 
I feel like you're expressing that things need to be different. Things need to be, sorry, things need to change. Um, you're not going to sign yourself up for the same relationship that you've been experiencing with this person. Because it just kind of looks like the relationship you've been experiencing with them has been very um, stressful and burdensome and just not pleasant. So it does look like you have conditions, you know, like, yes, I'll take you back, but under these conditions. And I feel like the, the main condition is, you know, things have to change. We can't keep going through the same issues over and over again. Interesting, I feel like this person is going to agree. We do have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to agree with you. This is a weird energy though. I kind of want to look into it. Yeah. Why is the uh, King of Pentacles here, Spirit? Clarify the King of Pentacles in the outcome. Clarify the King of Pentacles in the outcome. Oh, the star. Okay, well, you see, this is what I was telling you. I feel like this person's going to agree with you. Why do they have like an attitude though? You know, I just feel like this person, um, you know, it's ego. That's what it is. It, it just looks like this person still has a lot of ego. Like they recognize what they did wrong and what they need to change. And I feel like they're willing to put in the work to make those changes. Um, but it is going to take time with the King of Pentacles. This is a, this is a slow energy. So I feel like that's what the, that's what's happening here. It's like their ego is not going to go away 100%, you know, immediately. Like it's going to take time for them to slowly change their ways basically. But I do see them being willing to change their ways and I do see them agreeing with you that they do need to make important changes for the sake of this relationship. Okay, so Gemini, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading helped and I hope it made sense. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.